When you first install Divi on your website, you get a header that looks like this. But now you can style it and make it even more exciting and it's going to look like this. So notice what happens here. I'm going to scroll and the background color has changed and also the header has shrunk. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in today's video coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to create this header. So what happens is when you scroll, it's going to change color and it's also going to shrink. So this is what I'm going to be showing you step by step today. Now, before I get started, I'd like to remind you that if you want to create beautiful professional looking websites using Divi, I have a special bonus for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And there's also another course that you get for free. And this is called Photoshop for web designers. So it has everything pretty much that you need to get you up and running. And I also teach you everything that you need to know to create all your websites and make them look professional. And also, the link to that is in the video description below. So go ahead, use that link. And once you've done that, go to funnels to income.com. On the bottom right, there's a chat bubble. You just click on that, send me your receipt number, and I'll give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to head over to our theme builder because that's where we're going to create our header, which then applies across the whole website. So I'm going to come all the way down here to Divi. And then when you hover over here, you're going to see the theme builder. So click on it and then click on add global header and then build global header. Now I've chosen that option because we're going to build everything from scratch. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on start building. And we are going to go with a basic layout here. So I'm going to go with... Um, Let's go with this layout here. Okay, great. So now that I have that all set, the next step now is to just close this and go to my header. So here on the header, the main thing I want to do is to just add my background color initially so that I can see where things end while I'm designing my site. So I'm going to come over here and then add my background color. So I'm just going to go with this really dark color here and save. The next step now is to add all my elements into our row. So I'm going to hover over here and... Um, Click here on this plus button and here we need to add our image. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for my image. So the image I'm going to add here is going to act as our logo. So I'm going to click here. Now, if you don't have your logo in your media library, you need to upload it from your computer. So in this case here, I'm going to choose a logo that is already here. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with this one here, upload an image. Okay, great. So now I have my logo on. So the next step is just to uh, perhaps maybe do some adjustments here because as you can see, not sure if you can see this clearly, but the logo is a bit pixelated. So the solution to that is to come over here to design, sizing, and then just reduce the size a little bit. So you can just uh, keep an eye on it and see what looks better. Okay, so let's bring this down to about 56%. And then all we need to do now is to save. Now we are going to be going back and forth, making some tweaks. So uh, this is not our final setting. Next, I'm going to come over here and this is where we go to uh, add our menu. So I'm going to add my menu over here. And I already have a menu on my computer. And if you don't have one, you'll just get this one here by default anyways. So as you can see, things are not looking great because we have this background color. Now we don't want that. So we need to come to background and then we just want to make this transparent like that. Now we have a new problem. We can't read the text that's behind. So what we need to do now is to change that text. So I'm going to come over here, click on menu text. So our menu font uh, color here is going to be this color. Now I can see where my text is and I can read it. That's great. So I'm going to do a few more tweaks here and that is to add my font. So I'm going to go with pop-ins here. I may want to make it semi-bold and also increase the size a little bit. So let's go with 15. All right. So pretty much I'm happy with that, but we also want to add a state. So let's say someone has clicked a link. What color should that look like? So I'm going to go with this orange here. Okay, great. So, so far, so good. I'm going to save this. So now we have our menu here. Now I'm going to go in and also fix this menu and make sure that uh, it's the correct one because I don't want to have all these links here on my menu. So I'll have to create a new one. So back over here, I can still see that the logo doesn't look good. So I'm going to go back in and make some adjustments again. So I'm going to go to sizing 
and reduce this a bit more. So I'm going to go with 44 this time and then save. Okay, that's looking much better. Now over here to the right, we can also go in and uh, add some social media icons and so on. But uh, before we do that, I'm going to go back into my row settings. So here we're going to go into design sizing. Now it's very important that you make your adjustments here. So the first thing I need to do here is to go to use custom gutter width. Now the gutter width is the space between the columns. So this space here is important because it determines how close things are together in your column. So I'm going to set this to two. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to bring this down to two. I know it's a slight change. Next, I'm going to equalize column height. So I want everything to have the same uh, column height as I designed this. Here's the next part. So our width here is set to 80%. So this is where you can make your adjustments and uh, perhaps maybe even make this 80% as well. But if you want to make it full width and make it go all the way, you can also do that. All right. So now I have it at 80%. The next step now is to head over here to the advanced tab, custom CSS, and on the main element, I'm going to add this CSS code. Now, what the CSS code does, it aligns everything. So everything is just going to be in a straight line. Otherwise, you know, things will be at different levels. Okay, so now that I have this all set, the next part here is to remove some padding. So I'm going to come back over here, go to spacing. So the padding is uh, pretty much, in fact, you know what? Uh, let's close this so I can show you where the padding is. Now, do you see that when I mouse over here, you have this space here. We want to get rid of it because right now our header is way too thick. So we need to uh, shave a bit of weight here. So let's go back in here and click on design spacing. So I'm going to set this to zero. There we go. And I'm going to add zero to the bottom as well. So that's looking great so far. I'm going to save this. The next part now is to add our social media icons. I'm going to click on this plus button and search for social. There we go. Social media follow. So I'm going to add just three icons here. So first of all, I just need to reset item styles. And that removes the background from my icon. So I'm going to do the same here. Duplicate this. And this time I'm going to change this from Twitter to... Instagram. Okay, so now I have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So back, I'm going to reset this as well. Okay, so now we have our social media icons. In your case, you can add more if you have more, but I'm just going to use three. Okay, so now back over here, let's go ahead and uh, make a few adjustments. So I'm going to come over here to design icon and let's add a color here for our icon so i'm going to go with this color now notice that this is a color from a color palette so this matches really really well so maybe i'll go with this orange here okay i'm going to go with that now use icon font size if your icons are way too big this is where you'd come in and adjust the size but it looks like everything is okay here. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now, finally, I'd like to remind you that if you want to add your links to your social media platforms, you want to come over here now and go to link and then paste your link in here, okay? Otherwise, they'll just remain blank. So now I can go ahead and save this. And so far, everything is looking great. So back over here now on my section settings, this is where we need to make our final adjustments. And that is by coming over here to the advanced tab. We want to go to scroll effects. And this time we want this to stick to the top. Okay, so this is a brand new uh, feature that was released uh, recently. So this makes everything much, much easier. So I'm going to come over here and stick to the top. Great. So now that I have this header stuck to the top, the next step now is to perhaps maybe when you start scrolling, change the uh, color and also make it shrink a little bit. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to come back over here to design spacing. So at the moment, our padding is way too much, as you can see. So let's change this by setting it to, let's say, 1.5 VW. And we're going to set this both to the top and the bottom. OK, so now that I have this at the top and the bottom, you're going to notice that now we have this little icon. OK, so if you click on that. So this is for our sticky options. So when our item has been activated as sticky, what do we need to change here? And that is the size of our header. Now we're going to set our size to 0.7 VW. And we want this to be applied both to the top and the bottom. So pretty much we're very, very close now to finalizing our header. And um, I may want to go back to the content here, background. So as you can see, this will be our default state. So again, let's say you want to change color 
when scrolling. This is where, again, you want to click on this little icon and making sure you have sticky selected. You can change your color to that. Mm, maybe we should go with, okay, we're going to go with this color here. But of course, you can go with whatever color you want. You can even make it transparent if you want. So I'm pretty much happy with this. I'm going to go ahead now and save. So right now, we cannot see the changes because we need a lot of content here on this page for us to see those changes that I've just made. And as I'm looking at this, this logo here is very stubborn. Let me go back in and make it a, uh, a little bit smaller again. So I'm going to go back to design uh, sizing and let's reduce this a bit more down to about, let's say, 30%. Okay, that's much better now. So I'm going to save this now and we are going to close here and save changes. So you may be thinking, okay, so how do we see the changes taking effect? So what we need to do is to open up a page which has pretty much all the links that we need in order for us to uh, see all these changes happening. So I'm going to go ahead now and um, go to our home page. And while I'm here, you can see now our header has changed. So this is now our new header. So I'm going to go with this page here because I know this page has a lot of content on it. So there we go. So when I start scrolling, you notice that our color has changed and the size has shrunk just a little bit. Okay, there one more time. There we go. Really, really cool. So this is how you can go in and quickly make your headers look cool. Now over here, you notice that... Um, these have a follow. So if you have all your uh, links all set, if you click here, it's going to take you to whatever destination it is. Now, while I'm here and I get a lot of questions from uh, a lot of you when it regards to uh, your headers working well on mobile devices. So I'm going to just do a quick demo and let's take a look and see what our header looks like here on our website that we've just been working on. Okay, so I'm just going to shrink this and just uh, simulate this site on a uh, mobile device. So I'm just going to drag this, drag this, drag this. And as you can see, things are all over the place. Now, this can be a bit tricky. So there are ways to fix this. And I'm going to show you in a moment how you can do that. But the most important part is when I come over here and click on this hamburger icon, we notice that all our links here are not visible. Pretty much they're stuck behind behind all this and this doesn't look great. So what we need to do is to fix this and see how that's going to look. All right. So back now, I'm going to go back into my dashboard, go to Divi and then go to our theme builder. Now let's go in and start making our changes. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to fix our menu. So I'm going to come over here, click on this gear icon design. So the menu that we need to fix is the drop down. So I'm going to come over here to the drop down and notice that this, these are all the colors that we have. So I'm going to go with my color here for the background and drop down menu line color. So I can just go with, um, I can go with that. Now moving on, drop down menu text color. Let's go with this active color. We're going to go with this one here and mobile background menu color. So this we can go with this color here as well. So that's looking great. Mobile menu text color. We can choose our color like that. Now the icons, I'm just going to leave that as it is. Now let's go ahead and save. Okay, so now we have one more problem and that is our social media icons here don't look great. You know, when we uh, when I showed you the site, things were just stacked all over the place. So what we can do is we can go in and add a bit of CSS code to make sure everything looks great on a mobile device. So what I need to do is to come over here to my row settings, advanced, custom CSS. So here you can see we have a line center. Now this is just for our normal web page. But we want to uh, make sure that our mobile devices all look great. So now I'm going to click on this little icon and then I'm going to go into my tablet. So in my tablet, I'm going to add this CSS code. Now notice that I have display flex. This is what allows everything to be on the same line. And I'm going to do the same for the mobile as well. So I'm just going to paste it in here. And pretty much that's all we need to do. So now I'm going to save this. Save this one more time. Close out of here, save changes, and I'm going to open our site in a new tab just in case I need to go back in and fix a few things. All right, so now I can choose a page. Okay, so now let's take a look at our header and see what it looks like. So I'm going to drag this and 
Now, as you can see, if I click over here, now we have a background, but uh, this is just for demo purposes only. You can change this background color to whatever color you want, and um, this should work just fine. But the most important thing is now we can see all our links here on this uh, background. Okay, now, when it comes to social media icons here, I mean, to be honest, on mobile devices, the screen is really small, so what I usually do is to just disable the social media icons on my mobile devices. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna come back over here, go into our global header, and then all you have to do, I mean, there's several ways you can do this. You can uh, disable it by going to the actual module, or you can just come over here to our rows, and then click on this column. And then over here on advanced, we can go to visibility and then disable on phone and tablet. Now, if we save and save one more time and close out of this and save all changes, you're gonna notice that when I refresh my page and try to shrink the page, we are not going to have the social media icons. Okay, so let's try it. So I'm gonna shrink this and now you see it is gone. So now we have a simplified version of our header. And if I click here on this drop down, you can see our drop down still works and this is on mobile devices. All right, so pretty much this is, I would say, the new way of designing your headers. It makes it much, much easier. And with these features that were recently added, you can really create amazing headers. You can also have subheaders that show up when you scroll. So it's just a matter of going in and becoming even more creative with these new features. Anyway, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.